Uh, Steve the car guy here. Basically what we're trying to do today is we got a 2008 Chevrolet HHR that um, it won't start. And I replaced the battery and I got a voltmeter in the back and we're running some tests and everything's coming up well, more than 12 volts. So the way you can test this thing, a lot of guys on the internet here are telling you what to do and how to you know, check the fuses and the voltage and the relay and all this stuff. All you guys got to do is go here. Any, any car is going to have this, and it's going to be able to tell you where the fuses are and what they're located and what exactly they do. So you go ahead and you look at the schematic diagram over here, right, and it tells you what it is. So what I did was I found similar ones to what they needed to be. So I wrote the numbers on here. This is this was 26 and 34, and I swapped them out. Then you have 14, 51, and 50. They're all the same. If you look here, people, you see it. You see ZF28, 1120Z1, and you go over here, same number. This is what you guys do. You compare the numbers on here, and you find something that doesn't relate to the problem at hand. So what I've gone ahead and looked here is I'm trying to deal with an ignition. So the ignition one here tells me that I've got to deal with number 34 and 14, which I have right here. I swapped them out. 14 was for the uh, was for the rear window, for the rear window defogger. I decided I didn't care about the rear window defogger right now, so I swapped it out with number 34, which is the ignition one. So I swapped them out, went ahead and tried to start. All you're getting is a single click down by the starter, which means it's not, it's not, starter's pretty much shot. And then the same thing over here. If you can see this over here, I had 51 and 50. These are basically, when, I had basically switched those two around, and you can go ahead and you can look. See, you see 51 right there and 50's there. So I switched them out. Same numbers, guys. That's what you gotta look for. You gotta look for the numbers on here. That number, and it's the same number as that one, the one that you're looking at, that means it's got the same voltage, it just operates in the same exact manner. Don't switch out, you know, a Z11 with a Z10 because you don't know what the components are in there, and so it's something different there. One one thing might let too much power go through and damage something here. That's what relays do. They open up the switches when certain conditions are met. So I basically switched the two out, these two here and these two here, which are both for the ignition with other things that had nothing to do with the ignition, and the car still didn't start. And then we went ahead and tested the voltmeter and I'll show you guys how to hook that up as well. But that's a simple way, guys, to go ahead and be able to test and see if um, it's a relay. If it's a relay, a lot of these guys will have you taking voltmeters and putting battery packs and all these things. You don't need that. Just find the same relay that operates something different. Put a number on it so that way you know it goes back in the original spot. So you don't go ahead and get confused and say, okay, which relay did I just put in? Now you don't know which, you don't know if you're using the same relay you had before or if you're using a different relay. You can even put one dot or two dots or something like that. I just happen to put the same numbers so that way I know I can switch them back. But they're the same ones. They're the Z11. This particular car has one, two, three, has five of them. So I could switch out those five with the two over here if that ignitions, which are these two right here. These, these two right, these two right here are the ones that do the ignition. These are the ones I swapped them out with. All I have to do is just swap it out and then see what happens. And if it works, then you know that the relay that you, you know, that, that you're using before. And originally is a bad one. If it doesn't work, then you know you know the relays are not not the problem.